Okay, so I've got uh, water, 600 grit sandpaper, paper towel, and the helmet. And I'll start showing you. Sometimes you can just start rubbing, and this masking fluid is just going to come right off from underneath the paint. Depending on how well the paint's dried, depends on the effect. Also, how thick I initially put on the masking fluid is going to help determine uh, how it comes out. Now, as you can see, this masking fluid is giving a really nice edge here to make it look like it's been scraped, which is the effect. I wanted to get out of the helmet. Now, it's a little tricky doing it with latex gloves on, obviously, because uh, it tends to stick, but it's worth it uh, because, again, I want to be able to go back and paint over again. Oh, okay, this. This is one of those areas you can see, I'm trying to rub it, and it's not working. So, there's a couple tricks we can do. Toothpick. Always good, if you know where you're rubbing it. And once you get it started, it tends to stick together pretty well and come off. Some of the thin areas where I put latex down are going to be really difficult. That's what the sandpaper is really for. And uh, you'll be able to see that effect pretty well on the brow. Let me see. Yeah. You can see now, I'll try to do a little close up here. Back up. See some of the, the nice, the layered effects you're going to get. Uh, you're not going to be able to feel it too much at this point just because it's only one layer of paint. But you get this nice rippled edge. It doesn't look blobby. There's still some sections that I missed when I was going through the latex and that's just all good because that leaves little black bits same thing will happen again when I do the next layer and put the white on it so I'll give you a little example of just I use uh, wet sandpaper Here, I'll show you. water 600 grit sandpaper slight wetting and just very very gently go over it You don't want to put too much pressure on, and boom, catches the latex, off it comes. So, like I said, the thinner the latex coat, the more difficult this becomes. You have to be very careful as you're going over. Not to bear down too hard. And the more you can just get the latex to come off on its own, like that, the better it tends to look. One of the other good things about going over it with the sandpaper is that you can kind of see still have that nice edge but it smooth things out just a little bit and gets rid of some of the excess paint that's going to flake away. Now that's that becomes important because what's going to happen is once I'm done with this stage and you get rid of the latex I'm going to have to let it dry from where it's been wet. I'll dampen it down with a towel and go back over it with another alcohol wipe. But all this area that's been masked off is going to get remastered again for the next layer of paint that goes on. But, like I said, this is just one of the little processes, time consuming to go back over. This is why I put the clear coat layers down because, as you can see, I'm using the sandpaper, and to get some of these edges, I'm having to rub over the metal area. With those layers of clear coat and extra layers of metallic paint I put down, 
even if I do happen to rub through, you're not going to get down to the primer and you're certainly not going to get down to the fiberglass base of the helmet. So, to keep the video short because I'm having huge problems with the uploads, get an idea of how it's going to work. I'm going to just continue the same process, rub, sandpaper when necessary, use the toothpick, take the latex off, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done.